This is how I would learn to code if I could start over again. The first thing I do is pick one language and I try to learn and master that one language. When I first got started learning how to code, I tried to learn two languages at once. I did this because I had read some article that said to be a well-rounded developer, you really needed to know two languages. And this really isn't true. You can get a job as a developer if you know just one language. For example, if you know only JavaScript, you can absolutely get a job. I believe learning two languages at the same time, if you are brand new to coding, is really difficult to do. I know I struggled quite a bit when I was trying to do this. Learning how to code is already hard enough without trying to learn two different languages at the same time as a beginner. So if you are just getting started, I highly recommend that you try to learn and master one language. Once you've learned one programming language, it gets much easier to pick up a second language. But again, if you are trying to learn two languages at once, this can be quite difficult. In terms of what language should you learn, it will probably come as no surprise that I suggest you learn JavaScript. JavaScript is used for the front end and the back end. It is a very in-demand language and I definitely recommend it. The next thing I would do if I were to start all over again, I would make a plan. This sounds obvious, but when I first got started learning how to code, I had no real plan. And because I had no plan, I felt lost. I took some coding tutorials and I built a few projects, but I had no idea what to do next. And I had no idea what direction I wanted to go in. And a lot of time passed and I just didn't really know what to do. If I was somehow able to go back in time to when I first started learning how to code, then I would make sure that I answered the following questions. One, why do you want to learn to code? Are you interested in building certain projects? Are you learning how to code because you want a well-paying job? How serious are you going to be about learning to code or is this just a hobby that you're going to pick up? Two, what language do you need to learn? I know for me, I went from JavaScript to Python to Swift to Java. And after a few months of dabbling in different programming languages, I kind of felt like I became a master of none. So I definitely recommend figuring out what language you're going to learn. Next, what projects do you want to build or what projects do you need to build? Are you getting interested in coding because you want to solve a problem that you have and you could build some sort of software application to solve it? Or are you getting interested in programming just because you want a better job and you need to build some projects that will help your skills? Number four, how many hours per week are you going to dedicate to studying? It's helpful to figure out what days are you going to study and how many hours are you going to dedicate to studying? I would also answer the question, what are you willing to give up in life so you can make the time to learn to code? I had to give up some of my hobbies and time with friends so that I could make the time that it took to learn to code. I believe that you have to be realistic about the amount of time it's gonna take for you to learn to code. Okay, next up, if I was learning how to code all over again, I would stop watching so many tutorials. When I first started coding, I took dozens of coding tutorials. I took tutorials from Udemy and Free Code Camp and Udacity and numerous other places. Now these courses are absolutely amazing, but the problem is I was watching so many courses and I wasn't actually doing any coding on my own. You can definitely learn from coding tutorials, but if you want to learn to code, you have to actually code. And I wish somebody would have told me that when I was getting started. Instead of just watching coding tutorials, I would come up with an idea of something fun that you want to build. Then I would try to break that idea into the smallest parts or the smallest components. Say you want to build a fun game. Maybe you ask yourself, okay, how can I figure out what is the smallest part of this game that I can build? Maybe you just put one of the players on the game on the screen and that is the very first thing you do. You start small and then build up from there and eventually you will have built the project. I would also create a rule for myself that for every 30 minutes I spent watching coding tutorials, I would spend one hour actually coding. Next up, if I was to start over again, I would Google less. For the first few years when I was learning how to code, I would Google all of the time. Every time I got stuck or every time I got lost, I would start Googling. And today I actually try not to use Google as much and I'll explain why. Why not use Google? One of my favorite YouTubers, The Primogen, has a video on this where he talks about the benefits of actually using Google less as a software developer. And I actually started trying to do this a few months ago after I watched the video. I would get stuck on something or I'd run into an error and instead of just immediately reaching for Google, I would pause, 
During that pause, I would try to figure out how I would solve the problem. And very often, I would end up coming up with my own solution, not a solution from Google. This helped me grow so much as a problem solver, as a developer, and I only wish that I had been doing this from day one. If I was learning how to code all over again, I would pause every time I got stuck or every time I didn't know how to build a new feature in my application. And I would just pause and come up with a solution, or at least try to. I think this really can grow your programming abilities. I now believe Google can be kind of a crutch because you immediately reach for someone else's code or someone else's solution when it's really better to grow your own problem solving skills by thinking through what a solution could be by yourself. And of course, if you really get stuck, Google is always there. Okay, lastly, the final thing I wanna share with you. Stop thinking you were dumb for not understanding something. I wasted so much time worrying that I wasn't smart enough to be a developer. And honestly, spending time worrying that you aren't good enough is a waste of your time. If you are truly excited about coding and if you put in the time and you put in the effort, then you will learn how to code. Not believing in your ability will only hold you back. Also, this might be a bit of a hot take, but I'm just going to say it. Telling yourself that you aren't smart enough can often just be an excuse. If you tell yourself that you aren't smart enough to learn to code, then you don't have to go through with any of the hard work required that it takes to learn to code. Remind yourself that learning how to code is quite difficult. Even experienced developers still struggle to learn new things. You will get there and the hard work will pay off if you keep going. Okay, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and please like and subscribe.